and the maximum area of the rectangle that can be inscribed underneath this curve. So this curve here is the y equals e cosine x. y equals e to the cosine of x. That's this red curve. Now, I'm told I have to go from 0 to 2 is my interval. That means I can't go further and further. And I want to solve this. Well, if I want to find the area, I know that area is this whole distance times that height. Well, this is a key point. I don't know what this point is, but I know that this distance is x. Right? I go over x. And this height here is y. But I know y is simply e to the cosine of x. That's what this coordinate point is here. Meaning this distance is e to the cosine of x. That's how high this rectangle is. This distance is x, so the whole distance is 2x. So if I'm going to find my area function, it's 2x times my height, which is e to the cosine x. So base times height. If I'm going to find a maximum area, it means I have to find the derivative. So I'm going to take the derivative, derivative of a with respect to x. And there's a product here. So we'll use product rule. So I'm going to take the derivative of the first times the second, oh, cosine x, plus the second times the derivative of this one. So this is the derivative times chain rule is negative sine of x. And so if I tidy it up a little bit, I can't really do too much, but I'm going to pull out a 2e to the cosine of x, parenthesis, I'll get 1 plus Oh, minus, make that a minus sign, minus x sine x. Right. If this is going to be maximum, I know this derivative has to be 0. So I can have two equations here. e, 2e to the cosine of x equals 0, or x1 minus x sine x equals 0. Well, this exponent here, I know this will never be 0, so I can ignore this one totally. And so my whole my equation is going to come down to solving this. Go to 0. It gives me a hint, use technology to solve my equations as they can't be solved algebraically. So I'm going to use my calculator. Well, I'm going to, I have a computer so I can do it easier than that. I'm going to use Wolfram Alpha. If you have your calculator, you could do this in your calculator. And so I know that 1 minus x sine x equals 0. If I solve, I get all these values here, plus and minus all those x values. I know I have to be between 0 and 2, so I need this one there. So I know then that x is going to be plus or minus 1.14. Now why is there two x's, a plus or minus? Well, this x would be the plus 1.11. This would be the minus 1.11. And so checking to see if it's a max or a minimum, though, I have to use my first derivative test. I can say that a prime on top, a on the bottom, and I'm only going to use the positive one because of this interval. I have 1.11, or if I go to the left, I put in my derivative, do the calculation, I end up getting that to be positive, which means it's increasing. I plug the value, a value to the right into this equation here, and I end up being negative, so it's going down. And so therefore, it says find the maximum area. So therefore, x is going to be 1.11416. If I want to find the maximum area, 
area will be 2 times 1.11416 e to the cosine of 1.11416. Whatever value I get for that will be my maximum. My final answer, I will round to three significant figures. Let's see if I can get that. So 2 times 1.11416 times e to the power of cosine 1.11416. I think and I get 3.46. 3, 3.46. 3 if I put it into my calculator correct. And that will be all she wrote.